members of the community and Occupy Los Angeles in an open mic forum showed their support for a city council resolution to exclude corporations from protection under rights granted to human beings, specifically so that the expenditure of corporate money to influence the electoral process is no longer a form of constitutionally protected speech. But the fundamental driving force behind corporations is greed. And, well, and that's why at the, at the peak of the protections on corporations to provide them with, to shield them from, from anything other than striving to obtain a profit, they are, we see the widest gap between the haves and have nots. And I believe there's a direct correlation between the two. So I'm also reminded of uh, Hal. In 2001 Space Odyssey. I never understood Hal when I was a young teenager when that movie came out. I never quite understood what, what the heck was Hal. Um, but Hal was corporations. Uh, how was greed. It was an entity that shielded itself from the human beings that created it. And it continued to expand its power until the human beings had no more power. So I'm very pleased that Councilmember Garcetti and Bill Rosenthal introduced this resolution. I'm very happy to add the amendments to it. Uh, that were recommended by the people. Um, because I don't want to see Mickey Mouse running for president. <laughs> In the evening, the affinity group against police brutality organized a march with other outside organizations, including Answer LA, starting from City Hall in downtown Los Angeles in solidarity with Occupy Oakland. The march got off to a bad start when they ignored the original route planned, upsetting both Occupy LA organizers and the LAPD, who are working with the marchers to keep both drivers and marchers safe. They ended their march in front of the Los Angeles Police Department across from City Hall. Some of the members from the affinity group complained that the organizers of Occupy LA were preventing them from spreading their message at the occupation site. If anything, we're trying to provoke you to make a revolution and organize yourselves. That's all we're trying to do. And you guys need to know that we've been fighting We've been fighting hard. We've been fighting hard since day one, and they still try. They try to stop us from passing our flyers at Occupy LA. They said we couldn't pass off. Well, guess what? We passed our flyers anyway. So, and all y'all came. What group are you affiliated with? Um, the Committee to End Police Brutality. And that is, is that part of Occupy LA or is that another committee? It's, it's, a, it's a, initially a committee that was formed and the second day of the Occupy LA, but then it was pushed over to the category of an affinity group. Okay, and why was that? I'm sorry? Why? Oh, why was it? Well, because they didn't approve our, our committee as an official committee within Occupy LA, so we're an affinity group now. And what was the purpose of today's march? The purpose of today's march was to show solidarity with the protesters, the Occupy protesters in Oakland that were brutalized by the police and that were cleared out. Many people were um, hit by tear gas by, uh, were, and were brutalized by the cops. Many people were arrested um, unjustifiably. And we're here today to show solidarity in Oak with Oakland, the people of Oakland, and also their general strike that they called for today. And why have you, you guys, why has your group chosen to stop over in front of the Los Angeles Police Department? Why has your group decided to stop over in front of the police department? Oh. Well, um, that decision was uh, made by by the group uh, just to you know to denounce uh, the police and to, to expose the real role of police in, in all the Occupy movements all across the nation. Um, so far, the uh, Occupy Los Angeles has not had any altercations or any run-ins with the police. Um, I've talked to a lot of organizers. They said that it's been quite a, a good relationship. Uh, what do you do? You think that um, possibly being in, in front of the the Los Angeles Police Department is is a good uh, approach, or 
or do you, do you, do you see it a, a different way? I think that as long as the people protesting are peaceful and not provoking the police and not doing anything that would, uh, you know, be compromising to like the safety of the people around us, then I think we're fine. I think the police have no, absolutely no reason and no right to do anything with the protesters that are peacefully assembling right now.